Aloha, my name is Sunny Savage and I am so excited to be sharing a month-long journey with you. I'm gonna try and document as much as I can through video with the Eat Local Maui Challenge. So um, I'm encouraging everybody to go check it out at Project locavore.com and you can register and play along with us all month and we're just encouraging folks to eat more and more delicious food from the Aina here just really um, we know we can do better right we're shipping in 80 to 90 percent of our food here and we've got so many wonderful farmers that are stepping up um, and producing just phenomenal food uh, as well as ranchers and you know other food producers so um, check out projectlocavore.com for the eat local maui challenge we've got almost uh you know like over two thousand dollars worth of prizes uh for playing along and so yeah i really want to start off on the first day with a delicious meal and so i came out into my garden where a wild spiny amaranth amaranthus spinosus has uh, made its presence here in my garden uh known and um when I'm harvesting these, I um, oftentimes with greens, you're you're really not necessarily um, looking for them after they've gone to flower. But um, I find that even once this is flowered and seeded out, um, that the greens still taste good. Um, I'm going for the largest leaves that I can find. Um, because I you know, wanna have lots of greens. Um, oftentimes when we're doing greens, it's um, really nice to eat the tender young ones, but with the wild amaranth, um, the spiny one, we can do that long petiole so I don't have to get my fingers in close to um, those double spines. So I'm just kinda going for these greens and this is what it looks like. It gets to be a pretty big plant. Hope you can see that. Yeah, so starting off the Eat Local Maui Challenge with some wild amaranth. Okay, so to go with the beautiful wild amaranth, I um, got this epic breadfruit at the farmer's market this morning. Ulu is so delicious. And so um, really when you're cutting this up, you have to be careful, you know? I mean, it's really, um, it's kind of like cutting into a pumpkin. It's hard. Um, I have a really nice firm one here. Um, and so I'm quartering it and putting it into my Instapot. And I'm gonna just uh, steam that. I'll put the pressure cooker on for about 30 minutes and kind of check in with it and see how it's doing. Um, and then that'll be my next step. All right, so the 30 minute steam um, or pressure cook with the ulu was perfect and I cubed it up and um, then I sauteed some asparagus, which was like a jaw dropping moment when I went to Kumu Farm Stand yesterday and saw two bunches. That was really special. Um, so I have some elephant garlic that I got from Kupa'a Farms um, and sauteed in some beautiful olive oil. Um, with those wild greens, um, with some Chiave smoked salt, and then I have a uh, pan-fried egg with some salt and some uh, foraged pink peppercorns, and some beautiful um, sambal spicy hot sauce that um, High Spice made for me because I had that local elephant garlic, so. Anyways, I'm so stoked. My first meal on the Eat Local Maui Challenge. Woohoo! Woohoo! Camp trip with the boys, Salem and Zeb. <laughs> so we found some sweetest some slippery jack mushrooms and these are an edible bolet they do require kind of a unique processing you have to pull off all of the um, bottom those are not gills you can see they're like pores and then you also peel off the um, 
kind of slimy top and you can see those holes in there that is slug damage typically the slugs do like these and um yeah you kind of gotta just look they start they're popping up there's another one back in there so yay there? Yeah, just take that one. This one? Oh, thank you, Slippery Jack. Yep. Oh, we got the bottom. We'd... Nice score. Another one? Yep, right here. Okay. All right. Well, here we have some little oxalis, these sweet little wood sorrel, totally edible. And we have some sheep sorrel. Um, even though they both have sorrel in their name, they are kind of from different plant families, but yeah, I just pulled these off. These are delicious sour greens and I love the shape. They're so sweet. You can see this one here is kind of starting to bolt upwards and get ready to put on a seed head. Um, thank you plants. And then there's a lot of little cakes in here. Ball? A different mushroom. Oh, cool. A different yeah, and this oh, is, these are the oxalis, and so we eat these ones too. A lot of people Funny. think that they're clovers, or I mean, you know, four leaf clover kind of Mom. style, but if you see the little heart shaped, right? And we know it's a wood sorrel. Mom, you gotta come get some. Oh, God. Mom, look. There's a bunch of slippery jacks over here. So many. Yeah. Yep, they can really get big. Yeah, so we have some slippery jacks here. They're, they're really good to eat. Yeah, they're okay eating. Just yeah. kind of fun to mushroom hunt. Feels, feels really fun. Oh my gosh, hold that thing bug up to your head. Look at that. It's like the size of your head. Oh. oh.